Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob from the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. Uh, today I wanted to talk about skills a little bit. And also, uh, uh, at the end of this little part here, uh, I wanted to show you uh, what Sherry does to clean her aquarium. She has a 55 gallon aquarium. She takes very good care of it. And uh, you'll get a chance to see her in a time lapse, take care of her aquarium. And uh, she uh, also has little plastic plants inside the aquarium and sometimes they come apart. Well, she did a, a little research and found out uh, that there was a certain kind of silicone you could use that's good, for, okay for the fish. So you also get a chance to see her uh, gluing some of her plants back together before she puts them back in the aquarium. Uh, but until then, what I wanted to do is talk about skills. And uh, one of the things I heard from Homesteady, uh, he was doing a, a video about what's it cost to do a, a homesteading and, and off-grid stuff. And it, of course, you just can't answer that straight. But one of the things I really honed in on was uh, he was talking about some people who got skills that or went to school and learned uh, biology or uh, 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 farming or learning uh, business administration even with those kind of degrees it'll help you with running a good home homestead or farmstead uh, but nothing beats uh, as you've grown up uh, learning to uh, get some skills uh, I had the uh, opportunity in an aerospace company to learn electronics and fiber optics uh, along with that, I, uh, because I made it through the ranks, got a chance to get into some other areas. I got to see, uh, uh, you know, work with mechanics, worked with uh, NC mechanics, helped with um, um, pipe benders, uh, metal workers, hey. Hey, Bell, uh, back off. things like that. So uh, yeah. anyway, it was... It was uh, um, really good to learn all those different kinds of skills and uh, uh, once we got those skills under our belt um, throughout the years you'll find out you'll be doing a little electronic projects in your house you'll be doing uh, uh, projects in your yard fixing cars fixing tractors uh, on and on and on and fixing computers etc and as the years go on the more you get all these skills and sometimes you don't realize just how many skills you really have until you get on a homestead. So uh, uh, my advice to if you're young, learn some skills. Uh, school's okay, but it's not enough. Um, you need to get your hands dirty and coordinate your, your mind with your hands in a, a mechanical way. Uh, that's important because the more you can do that yourself, the more money it will save you. So uh, anyway, uh, I just wanted to kind of talk about that a little bit. Uh, I know that everything I've learned, I used to, when I was a teenager, I worked uh, on fishing boats. I uh, learned a lot about just common sense things as far as practicalities, uh, saving time, and being a little rugged. And, and, and uh, as time got on, I worked at car lots. I then got into aerospace. I did all kinds of things, have my own businesses and all that. And believe me, all those things in my life I have applied to homesteading. So I hope that's good advice for you. So anyway, I want to move on and talk about Sherry's Aquarium. So once again, it's a 55-gallon aquarium. We've had a long time. When we moved up here, we had to sell all of our fish, which was really sad. And we had to start over again. And we got new fish, and we actually found some pretty nice fish. At the same time, I bought some koi for the pond. But anyhow, so here's a time lapse. And it's a... Uh, doesn't show the justification really of how much work she really does, but she uh, changes her water by one third, uh, one half, uh, quite a bit. Um, and what you'll see her doing is uh, scrubbing her tank. We uh, rigged up a pump from the bathroom to the aquarium. So you'll see the water go up and down uh, based on her draining it and refilling it from a whole entire room. She's got a 50 foot hose that she uses on that. And, uh, and she also cleans her plants quite a bit and things like that because they do get a, um, 
uh, they turn green a little bit and need to be scrubbed. So boy, she really takes good care of her fish. So here's Sherry working on her aquarium. To do one. I just cleaned my aquarium and some of my plants, the silicone gave up, so I'm replacing free silicone in them. So, uh, is this just any kind of silicone? No, it's 100% uh, silicone sealant, and you got to make sure there's no other chemicals in it, like mold resistant stuff. Um, and this is from GE. It was recommended from one of the pet stores that I talked to. Cool. Very nice. You definitely take good care of your aquarium. I try. I like my fish, so with it comes maintenance. That's all in a day in the life of living in a homestead. So uh, if you have any questions about aquariums or how we take care of ours, uh, feel free to leave a comment below. Um, and uh, yeah, if you have any subjects you'd like us to talk about in our uh, vlog here, let us know. We'd really appreciate it. So uh, please take the time to like and subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd appreciate it. And uh, till next time, bye now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.